I work for the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center, or ERDIC. You can think of ERDIC as the R&D arm of the Army Corps of Engineers. So our Army Corps of Engineers districts are out there uh, designing solutions to many of our nation's coastal problems, and ERDIC conducts a lot of the R&D and research and development that supports those solutions. So we're trying to better understand coastal processes that might be influencing our coastal communities, better understanding how to uh, engineer and uh, develop uh, coastal projects to be more resilient uh, in the face of uh, extreme storm events, um, and really trying to identify and develop and deliver the new technology that will allow our districts to better manage them. Districts are really out there uh, in the field uh, installing and, and designing solutions and sometimes uh, problem areas come up. They don't know why a, a project is eroding more quickly in one location compared to another location. Um, and so that's when they reach back to ERDIC and, and request and say, we need more research and develop, development on this particular topic. And then ERDIC can conduct that research, develop a a better solution or a new and improved solution and then we transition that technology back to our district engineers who can put it into engineering practice and one of the things that we've had a lot of successes with is including what we call district pilot projects in our R&D so as we're developing new technology we try to get that technology into the field as quickly as possible have our district engineers test it out try it give us feedback during the R&D process so that the final solution is really ready to hit the ground running and be the most useful and beneficial. Like that. 